There's a staple of the upper Midwest that's worth a try. The pasty is a filling meal with an interesting history. You can't travel through Michigan's Upper Peninsula without noticing signs for pasties. And yes, it's pasties, not pasties. Pasties are something completely different. Unlike pasties, I'd never tried pasties before. A pasty is a handheld meat and veggie pie. It's made by placing uncooked meat and veggies into a short crust dough. The dough is folded and the sides are pinched together, making a pocket with a crimped, crusty edge. Then it's baked, producing a delicious and portable meal. The dough is an easy combination of flour, salt, and shortening. Standard fillings include beef, potato, rutabaga, and onion. In the UP, the favored condiment is ketchup. The trolls under the Mackinac Bridge prefer gravy. The prevalence of pasties in this region can be linked to mining. In the early 1800s, there was a rush to mine the copper deposits found in this area. Many of these miners came from Cornwall, England and brought the pasty with them. This dish was perfect for their 12-hour workdays because it was so portable. The workers would eat their pasty and toss the crust. It was said little goblins called bukas would come and eat them. This would appease them and they would not cause accidents. Tossing those crusts may have saved lives. It prevented people from eating a large amount of arsenic that was in those early tin mines. In 1864, a wave of Finnish immigrants came to this area. The Finns soon adopted the pasty as their own. So much so, that many think the Finnish originated this dish. Throughout the years, many have added their own touches to the pasty. The Finnish often substitute carrot for rutabaga. Today, you can find all types of pasties. Janine and I tried more traditional pasties in Munising, Michigan. We are trying our first pasty. This one's the original. Been looking forward to this. It's really good. It's um, meat, um, beef, potatoes. Yeah, it's quite excellent. Wash it down with a Uper beer. Also excellent. So I'm going to try my first pasty. Mine is the chicken one. Aaron had the Uper flavor. Stuck on the inside. So I'll start with that end. It's really good. Pot pie-ish, I guess. And um, we've got, I think, onions and carrots and chicken, maybe cabbage. Um, yeah, that's just a tasty lunch. Later, we went to Irontown Pasties to get pasties for our pickier eaters. There's a window where you get to see the process. We knew we came to the right spot when we saw others walking out with bags that had 20 plus. This is my daughter, Autumn, and she is having the chicken pot pie pasty. All right, the chicken pot pie pasty has diced chicken, peas, carrots, onion, potato, chicken gravy, cream soups, and spices. So let's give it a try. Tastes like a chicken pot pie. 
All right, we're here with our friend Kai, and Kai has the veggie cheese pasty. Hi, I'm Kai, veggie cheese pasty. It has broccoli, cauliflower, carrots, onion, potato, cream cheese, cheddar cheese, mozzarella cheese, and other spices. We got triple cheese action going on here. Let's dig in. That is delicious. I'm here with my son-in-law, John, and he's about to try the vegan pasty. Hi, my name's John. Um, the vegan pasty contains the following ingredients. Broccoli, carrots, cauliflower, onion, potato, tofu, garlic, yeast flakes, and spices. Let's dig in. I like it. Popeye. It's exactly what you expect. It's like a chicken pot pie, warm on the inside with nice soft vegetables and full of flavor. And very nice crust outside, like a pie. Hi, I'm here with my daughter Allie and she is about to try the vegan spicy pasty. The spicy vegan pasty has broccoli, carrots, cauliflower, onion, potato, tofu, yeast flakes, crushed red pepper, Jalapeno pepper, cayenne pepper, and some other spices. So let's dig in. Very good. Pasties are the food that fed the miners and then the loggers. These people face trying conditions and this mentality is key to Upper Peninsula culture. For more Midwest food videos, like and subscribe.